So in this video, we have to find a unit normal vector to the sphere at the point 4, 4, uh, comma 5. So we'll start by subtracting the 57 from both sides. So we end up with x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus 57, and that's uh, equal to 0. So we took the equation of a sphere, and now we're treating it a little bit differently. We're going to think of this as big F of x, y, z. And if this whole thing is big F, then it's equal to 0. So now the question becomes, find a unit normal vector to this level surface at the point 4, 4, 5. So to find uh, a unit normal vector for a level surface, uh, well, we can think of what's the simplest normal vector we can find. That's the gradient vector. So we'll find the gradient vector of big F, and then we'll normalize it. Right? We'll turn it into a unit vector. So to find the gradient, we have to take the partial derivatives. So if we compute del f, del x, uh, well, that will simply be 2x, because these derivatives are all 0. Because when you take the partial with respect to x, you fix all of the other variables. So these derivatives are all 0. And then del f, del y, that's going to be 2y, because these derivatives are also 0. And then finally, uh, del f, del z, del f, del z, and that's going to be 2z, because these derivatives are 0. You hold everything else constant. All right, so now we can write down the gradient vector. So the gradient of big F is equal to 2x, comma, 2y, comma, 2z. So that's the gradient vector. So this vector is normal or orthogonal uh, to every uh, point on this level surface. Okay. So now we need to find out uh, the vector that is normal to this curve at 4, 4, 5. So all we do is we plug in 4, 4, 5, respectively, for x, y, and z. So the gradient of big F at 4, 4, 5, okay, it's going to be, uh, let's see, so 2 times 4, so 8, let's go to step there, because x is 4, right, x is 4, and then 2 times 4, that's 8, and then 2 times 5, so 10. So this vector, the gradient vector, is orthogonal to this level surface at 4, 4, 5, right? So therefore, it's orthogonal to the sphere, which was the original question. The problem is it has to be a unit vector. So to turn it into a unit vector, uh, we'll normalize it. So in other words, we'll take the magnitude and, and divide by that. So I'm going to go ahead and erase uh, part of the original question. I'm running out of room. <laughs> so let's find the magnitude of the uh, gradient vector. So the magnitude of the gradient at 4, 4, 5, okay. uh, that's going to be equal to. And what you do is you take the square root and you square the components and add them. So it would be 8 squared plus 8 squared plus 10 squared. Oh, big numbers. <laughs> I wish I had a calculator. So this is 64 plus 64 plus 100. So 64 plus 64 is 128. And then 10 squared is 100, so 100. So this is going to be the square root of 228. OK, square root of 228. So that's the magnitude of the gradient vector. So now all we have to do uh, is divide each of these components uh, by the square root of 228. So our final answer, our unit vector that is normal to our level surface or to our sphere, I'll call it u. It's going to be 8 over the square root of 228, comma 8 over the square root of 228, and then 10 over the square root of 228. And that's it.